In this video, I am going to solve the first problem from chapter 19, the kinetic theory of gases. When 0 0.4 mole of oxygen gas is heated at constant pressure starting at 0 degree Celsius, how much energy must be added to the gas as heat to triple its volume? So in this question, they gave the oxygen, right? So oxygen is a diatomic molecule. And here we are going to find the energy. What energy? The heat energy. And the most important thing, we are going to find the heat energy at constant pressure. And here, the number of moles of oxygen is given here. So the number of moles here is 0 0.4 moles, clear? And the temperature here they gave as 0 degree Celsius. So first of all, Let's we write what is given here and after that we will proceed to solve the question. So here the number of moles here they mention as 0 0.4. 0 0.4 mole. And the most important thing here it is a diatomic. So oxygen is a diatomic molecule, right? So diatomic. And the condition here they mention as constant pressure. And the temperature they give here, that is initial temperature, right? So the initial temperature here they mention as 0 degree Celsius. So we have to convert it to Kelvin. So by that, what's the value of this temperature? So you have to add 273. So 0 plus 273 gives you 273 Kelvin. So this is the initial temperature. Now what we are going to find, we are going to find the energy. Clear? So we are going to find the energy at constant pressure. So here we are going to use the molar specific heat capacity at constant pressure. And for that, we know the rule. What is the rule for the energy at constant pressure? We know the rule Q, which is equal to NCP delta T. This is the rule, right? So for solving the question, I'm going to use this rule. So now we have to consider for the constant pressure, the diatomic molecule here, the CP carries the value of 7 over 2 times of R. So here 7 over 2 R is nothing but the gas constant, which is 8.314. And delta T is final temperature minus initial temperature. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the CP here by that the above rule will become Q, which is equal to N, multiply with 7 over 2 times of R, multiply with delta T. Right? So here, we know the rule. We know the value of R, which is 8.314. So better I can write the constant here. So R carries the value of 8.314. Clear? Okay. Now, I'm going to expand this equation. When you expand this equation, the above term again is modified as n multiplied by 7 over 2 multiplied by r and here this will be become t final minus t initial clear okay now the most important thing if you want to find the energy we need two temperature right but here we have only the initial temperature so for that what i am going to do i am going to remodify the the value of the temperature here so how we can just really remodify it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply T initial both in the numerator and the denominator. So by that, what will happen to the equation? The equation will become Q, which is equal to N multiplied with 7 over 2 times of R. And here I'm going to multiply Ti both the numerator and the denominator. And then I'm going to write what is given in the bracket. So now, even if you cancel this, this equation, which equation? This equation will not be affected, right? So that means we are just going to do a small a mathematical trick. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to multiply this inside. If you multiply inside, what will happen? This term becomes n multiplied by 7 over 2 times of r. And when you take this value inside, this will become ti and I'm going to take the denominator inside. So by that, what will happen? This will become 
Tf over Ti minus Ti over Ti, right? You can see, we just do a small mathematical trick. I just take only the denominator and then I just multiply this denominator with a bracket. So inside the bracket, we have two temperature, T final minus T initial. So when you multiply, you will get this equation, right? Okay. Now, if you again modify that, what will happen? If you again modify, this equation become N multiplied by 7 over 2 times of R. And this Ti as it is, I am going to keep it here. And this part becomes T final over T initial minus 1. Clear? So, I am going to keep this equation for the time being. And before that, so before I am going to substitute the value here, let us read the second part of the question. So, what is given in the second part of the question? We are going to find how much energy must be added to a gas as heat to triple its volume. So, that means the initial volume here is 1. And after that, what happens? Its volume gets triple the time. That means here the initial volume is 1 meter cube. Let us we take. And what is the final volume? The final volume here is 3 meter cube because it is triple the time of initial. Clear? So here and the condition they gave here as it is a constant pressure. So what is the meaning for constant pressure? The constant pressure is nothing but the pressure initial must be equal to pressure final. Right? Okay. Now I am going to use the ideal gas equation for both cases. For the initial case as well as final case. So let us we write the ideal gas equation here. We know the ideal gas equation which is PV which is equal to NRT. So I am going to write this rule for initial case. So if you write the case for initial condition which is PI VI which is equal to N multiplied by R because R is a constant and here TI. Let us we take this is our first equation. And for the final condition, we have to write P final, V final, which is equal to N multiplied by R, T final, right? So I just wrote the ideal gas equation for both initial and the final condition. Okay, before that, better because this is our main source equation. So I can keep this equation as the first equation, Roman letter first, clear? Okay, now what I am going to do, I am going to divide this second equation by first equation. So divide the second equation by first equation. So what will happen? So we have to divide both the left hand side and the right hand side. So let us start, start with the left hand side. P final, V final, sorry, P final, V final over P initial, V initials. So in the numerator is the second equation and the denominator is the first equation. Likewise, I have to do it in the right hand side also. N R T final over N or T initial. So by that, we can cancel something. Am I right? Because they said it is a constant pressure. So by that, if it is constant pressure, your initial pressure must be equal to the final pressure. So that means your PF, which is equal to PI, or PI is which is equal to PF. So we can cancel this. And likewise, on the right hand side, we can cancel N or and N or here. Right? So by that, this equation becomes Vf over Vi, which is equal to Tf over Ti, right? Okay. Now, what I am going to do, because you have to see this main equation, here we have Tf over T initial, but in the question, there is no information about the final temperature. So now what I am going to do, in this place of T final over T initial, so what I am going to do, I am going to substitute V final over initial. So better I can do one thing. I will write this equation near to this case. So by that, what will happen? You will get a clear idea. So I am going to write that equation. Q which is equal to N multiplied by 7 over 2 times of R Ti. And inside the bracket, we have T final over T initial, right? Minus 1. So this is the main equation. So I just take this equation for our reference. Now you have to identify the clear information here. So T final in place of this T final over T initial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute this V final over V initial in this place because in this case, both are equal, right? So if you substitute this V final over V initial in place of T final over T initial, this equation will again modify it as Q, which is equal to N multiplied by 7 over 2 times of R 
multiply with the t initial and in this place what i'm going to do i'm going to write v final over v initial minus one now our work is very easy because we have everything in the question number of moles is already given in the question r is a gas constant t initial they gave us zero degree celsius in the question right and v final which is given here three times and v initial is one time right so let's we just go back to the question once again we can just read what is given in the question if you read the question see here this is n number of moles n value is 0 0.4 and the initial temperature is zero degree celsius and the triple its volume means initial volume here is one and final volume is three right so i already wrote the condition here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to substitute all the values in the final equations so once you substitute all the values in this equation we can easily find the energy okay let's we substitute the value one by one so what is the number of moles the number of moles here is 0 0.4 and bracket we have 7 over 2 times of r value here is 8.314 so t initial i have to substitute the value of the kelvin which is 273 multiply with v final here three times v initial is one times minus one so now i have to solve this so let's we see what will come clear 0 0.4 by write one more steps and this will become 7 over 2 times of 8.314 multiply with 273 and here 3 over 1 is 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 right okay now i'm going to multiply and divide with 2 and finally we will get the answer so let's we solve this so i'm going to multiply in the top so 0 0.4 0 0.4 multiply 7 multiply 8.314 multiply 273 multiply 2 over 2. So I got the answer here as 6.355. So I can just take two digits. By that I can write 6. Point, sorry 6355.22. I got actually. So I'm going to write this value in terms of a, a power. So by that, this actually this is five. Okay. So by that, we can write this as six point three six multiplied with ten power three. Right. Ten power three. And what's the unit for the energy? The unit for the energy is joules. Clear. That's it. Thank you.